Hi everybody, my name is Salvatore and I'm here to talk about fennel. I know that many of you think that fennel can be a little bit complicated to cook and also has a particular taste, uh, but I have uh, some secret to share with you and uh, let's see how to prepare an amazing meal using the king of the day. We are going to cook two different recipes and here I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I'm going to use and then during the preparation I will mention them again. So we start with some spicy. You can use some powder or if you have, uh, we have extra virgin olive oil. We're going to use some uh, olives in extra virgin olive oil, some breadcrumbs, some salt, some, uh, here we have some potato that I chopped in a very specific way. Uh, then I have some uh, orange zest, a mix of carrots and uh, onions. For sure, fennel. And then we have a lemon. We have uh, some oregano. We have here some uh, paprika, sweet paprika actually. And some uh, anchovies under salt extra virgin olive oil from Sicily and some herbs, fresh herbs and black pepper that we are going to use. Let me show how to cut the fennel. So usually take out the bat because it's a little bit too tough. No, it would take too much to cook. And then I cut in this way. Uh, we have a knife with thin, I will say. Be always very careful to cut fennels because they're a little bit hard. So you put, uh, you do force, you do like you push it and then you can have uh, some problems. But that's how basically you have a nice piece of uh, uh, fennel cut perfectly with the heart inside. So here I'm going to show how to prepare the first recipe that we will cook in the oven. And this recipe is specific because we will use the breadcrumbs that are here actually. So I have here two, three fennel and a half potato. I'm gonna add some salt, because we always need a little bit, some oregano for sure. Then we are going to put some little tiny paprika, right? The reason why we are using paprika is because fennel has a very strong flavor and need to be balanced from other intense flavors. We can add a little tiny quantity of chili. In this case, I'm gonna use uh, Italian chili from Calabria and there we have extra virgin olive oil. Uh, it's very, 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 very intense, the flavor. Again, you're gonna use whatever you have that give intensity, okay? Then I'm going to put the extra virgin olive oil, which is essential to marinate a little bit all the stuff together. Perfect. I will squeeze half lemon, look. In this way, I give also some acidity, a citrusiness, which really match the fennel flavor. Perfect. And now is the time to put the other important ingredients, which is breadcrumbs. I'm gonna do it like that. For sure, the quantity change according to the number of people you have for dinner and the quantity also of fennel and potato you are going to use. Well, you know, it's more like an idea. I love to oops, put a little bit more of this. Yes. Perfect. Now I'm going to put all our preparation inside this pan because it's gonna go in the oven as I say. And I'm gonna put it like that. Oh, and I'm make sure that all the breadcrumbs go down. In this sense, like in this case, you see I will try to add my hand 
little bit dirty, but a little bit of orange zest. Because uh, again, it will give a little bit more aroma and an intense flavor. And be sure to be generous with oregano, or oregano. And again, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, just to be sure. So now look how it's beautiful and it's ready to go in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes and uh, 350 degrees will be perfect. Well, uh, before I mention you about how to cut the potato, remember to try to cut the potato smaller than the fennels because they will cook in this way in an equal way. I mean, like, you know, the potato take a little bit more, so you cook, you cut smaller piece and uh, you can match the two different um, timing. Let's go. And here we are with our roasted uh, fennel potato with breadcrumbs. Uh, they took at the end of 35 minutes in the oven. They're very lovely, crunchy enough. How I will uh, mm, decorate at the end of the dish. Remember the uh, rule, intense flavor to combine the fennel flavor. So I'm gonna take another little sprinkle of black pepper some anchovies that I cut before, I will put here and there. They're gonna give the saltiness, right? And I'm gonna finish it adding some oil and olives here and there. They for sure were not in the oven because, oops, <laughs> this, those ingredients do not need to go in the oven. Here, you can go to put to be more good looking, but this is the sense of the dish. Uh, this is another side dish and it can easily be served with uh, other uh, vegetables, grilled for instance, or with some uh, chicken if you want. Uh, here we are going to prepare the second recipe that will be cooked in a pan, so over a stove. Here we have uh, two fennel, one uh, <clears throat> potato, again look how I cut the potato some carrots just to give a little bit of color and then we start our seasoning again oregano which I really love as you can understand salt because without salt we're not gonna get anything cool some paprika again which I really like too by the way it's, it's we can add a little bit more here the same chili to give a little bit of spiciness perfect and uh, we are not going to <clears throat> put any breadcrumbs a lemon just take one um, actually you know what I'm gonna chop a little bit one little cipollotto it's a little bit a little onion I'm gonna do it like that and then I'm gonna cut a little bit more here you get just like that and um, well now I'm gonna put also some black pepper some of the ingredients that we didn't use yet is because we are going to use once the dish are ready to be served so now the extra virgin olive oil which is another must in my kitchen and it's the final moment let's mix all Together. Let's give a very good, generous, intense mix. And then we are going in the stove to cook. Now that I have all my ingredients mixed together in a pan, uh, I put the fire uh, hot temperature. I give a little mix uh, and I pay attention that all the ingredients are homogeneously distributed inside the pan. I hope you understand, but you can actually see this. And then, uh, and then once everything looks perfect, I'm gonna cover, right? And uh, first I keep for five minutes in a medium fire and then I reduce the temperature I will cook around 20-25 minutes in a very slow way. Can you hear that it's already doing something? 
perfect. That's what you want to hear at the beginning. Then you want to hear less sound. Here we are with the dish that I cook on the stove and uh, in the end it took a little bit longer, about 35 minutes, but it's because the fennel were a little bit thicker. Anyway, see how uh, very crunchy, everything is very crunchy and, and very like appealing. I'm going to add some um, uh, wild uh, onions uh, or um, onions grass, actually it's called it. To give a little bit color and also freshness, see? Like that, perfect. And I'm gonna use a very cool Sicilian trick. I'm gonna use some lemon zest, which will give some soft uh, floral note to our dish. See? I'm gonna do it like that. For sure, before you wash your uh, orange uh, or your lemon, sorry, and then you put like that all around. Perfect, just a little bit. Great. And this is ready to go. Could be a very cool side dish uh, that I imagine to pair with some uh, lamb or some uh, wild meat. Yes, game for instance could be a very very good pairing. Ed eccomi qui with the two final dishes. Those were in the oven, those was fried pan. Um, those recipe are Sicilian inspired as you can hear from my accent. Me too, I'm real Sicilian inspired. And also the ingredients I use are mostly Sicilian like the anchovies, However, you can uh, find some alternatives in your cabinet and in fact uh, I just tried to use some paprika to give you an idea of what can really match those uh, two preparations. The smell is amazing and I want to try something with you to see if it's good or not. Here I have uh, uh, the chance there will be no good art zero, so uh, it's a very rhetoric, but I'm gonna try. Mm, it's so soft, it's so soft and smooth, very very good. The herbs, the fresh herbs give some freshness which you won't after it was cooked for so long. Let's go to try the version with breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna get a little piece, let me see like this, with the olives, right? Mm. Fantastic. So juicy the olives, so soft the flavor of the fennel, which uh, it's what we want to achieve with this dish. Very colorful, very uh, flavorful again, with some anchovies here. Then we try the potato and the fennels too, all together. Oh, perfect, perfect. This is what I want for my dinner, and I guess you're gonna get too. I thought um, you only eat fennel when you're on a diet. That is a we one of the good way to eat fennel is a raw fennel with a lemon juice, orange, olives, a little bit of a salt and mint. And it's very uh, low in calories, very satisfying, and it's a summer. It's salad. like the Sicilian celery. Yeah, it is in some way. It's the typical uh, typical summer salad. Honestly, um, we consider that a summer salad because usually we eat more fish during grilled fish in summer and fennel really having a, that kind of intense flavor is able to clean your palate after that you have a lot of fish, right? Even your hands, you move, uh, you use your fennel and your lemon to avoid the smell of fish after you have so many shrimps and uh, calamari and uh, swordfish and so and so.